Hey guys, it's Zen Like. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about murder holes. Um, what they are is these little holes right here that uh, can be retracted to let lava pour out. Uh, as you can see, uh, I have some lit glowstone lamps kind of occupying the spot where that lava is going to be coming out. Um, and what I'd like to use this for is when creepers kind of sneak up to my castle walls, um, just to kind of get rid of them in survival mode. So uh, let's take a look at what's going on out back. Or actually, uh, let's take a look at... Uh, how it's supposed to work, huh? Get a quick demo first. So uh, I'll just press a little button here. Retracts our glowstone lamps. Uh, and then lets the lava pour out. And then you'll notice the uh, glowstone lamps are replaced uh, so we can kind of cut off that stream of lava that's coming in. And as you can see, our uh, creepers were thoroughly dispatched. All right, so here's our little mechanism that controls the lava. Uh, when the switch is pressed up top, these little uh, glowstone lamps come down, and there's a little output hole that the uh, lava can flow out of a little bit. Um, the whole mechanism is kind of controlled by this blue contraption here, which is an RS NOR latch. You can see that on the Minecraft wiki under the redstone circuits, RS NOR latch. This is letter C. And basically what it does is it, when it's turned on, it stays on until you turn it off again uh, with some other source. Uh, so what happens is this uh, redstone circuit comes in this way, activates the RS NOR latch, which stays on, um, which presses these pistons down. I also have a little delay circuit around the outside right here that comes in and turns the RS NOR latch off, which will then uh, turn this off and then... Uh, raise these lamps back up. So uh, let's take a look at that. So I press the button. Oops, wrong button. Press the button. Um, pistons go down. You can see the delay circuit working its way around the outside. There we go. Turns the RS Norlash off and the lamps go back up. Let's take a look at that one more time. All right, so lamps go down. Uh, electricity goes around the outside, and then bam, they're back up again. So uh, that's all there is to that. All right, let's take a look at this. This is kind of my uh, little telecommunications device here, my redstone telecommunications, and all it is is kind of the arrow on the pressure plate switch kind of trick, but I wanted to see how far I could propagate it. Uh, I've only got one tower in the distance. I'm hoping to do several more later, but let's check this out for the people who haven't seen this. Oh, let's try it again. Uh, there we go. So you see my lamp went on. Um, basically what happens is the arrows come out and they uh, strike my pressure plates. It looks like I need to put another row or two. Um, and it'll stay on until these arrows despawn or I can go pick it up and then uh, my lamp will go back off again. So uh, I'm sure plenty, plenty of you guys have seen the, uh, the pressure plate arrow trick before, but I thought I would show it to you just in case you haven't seen it before or in case you need to be reminded of it if you had another uh, project. All right. That's it for today.